guys, I'm back again with another video. Yes, this is an unboxing video, but I'm going to be talking about some other stuff in this video because I have some things to talk about that have to go with what I received or like it's the same topic. But um, so I got this. Yes, it's a very, very small envelope, but there is something in here. So I will get to opening this and then I'll get to talking about you know, my other stuff that I was going to talk about. So, I will get this open. Apparently, okay, so I have a couple things to explain about this item. Um, I was originally planning to buy it with my gift card, um, but I made the mistake and I purchased it without selecting the gift card option. But luckily, I had the money in my account to buy it. So it's not like it was um, a total bad thing. And it didn't cost that much either way. So I was okay there. It's just I goofed and forgot to select my gift card when purchasing it. But that's fine. Now I have a little bit extra on my gift card. And um, I've been looking on eBay for something. And... It's not up there yet. Um, it's just like I'm looking for this like older item and um, I'm just waiting to see if it shows up at all on eBay. But I'm going to be watching it for that. So I will get back to opening this so then I can talk about stuff. So, okay. And it's wrapped in paper and... Here it is. It is Kingdom Hearts 300 and something over 12 days. I forget the number. 358 over 12, whatever. I know I'm butchering that, but yes, that is what I received. Kingdom Hearts. Um, I've been getting back into Kingdom Hearts and everything. So, is this just a blank? Okay. Yeah, it's just a blank paper that they wrapped it in. I don't know. But, yeah, so that is what I received. There is no case for it. I just bought it without the case because it was cheaper that way and everything. And I don't need to, like, clutter up with all these DS cases. So I decided to just get it without. I was okay with that. Um, so, yeah, I've been getting back into Kingdom Hearts. And as you guys know, I cosplayed Kyrie way back in 2010. And I'm starting to miss cosplaying her and I miss you know being into Kingdom Hearts and stuff and playing Kingdom Hearts so I bought this game for my DS so yeah um and I made a papu fruit I hope I said that right I don't know I never knew how to say it right but yes I made this yesterday because I was you know kind of bored and I'm like I want to make a papu fruit because I've been meaning to make one for a long time and I finally made one so and I'm really proud with how it turned out and I'm also making these like to sell I posted them on my um, Facebook shop I can link to that in the description to my um, little shop on Facebook if you want to buy one I'm selling these for like seven dollars and I can make smaller ones and if you want, I can make a bigger one, too, but that'll cost more. Smaller ones will cost less, so. But this one I'm keeping, so if you want one, I'm going to have to make another one. But they're easy to make and don't take me long. So, yeah. Um, also, I cut this wig for Kyrie. If you recognize it, yes, this was originally my growl wig. Um, but the ends were really frizzy and bad and you know as you know I've had this wig for a super long time and I've wanted to cut it for another cosplay and I decided to cut it for Kyrie because I used my own hair for her way back when it was red but I'm probably not gonna dye it that color again so I decided to cut this wig for Kyrie and I think it's perfect so I tested it yesterday after I cut it and it works perfectly. So, yeah, I'm going to be using this wig for Kyrie. I might, like, work with the ends a bit more. But 
it looks a lot better now that those bad ends are cut off. So it still looks like really new and everything too. Like you can't tell I've had this wig for a long time. So yeah, I can't wait to be here again. I am planning to do the school uniform and um, I don't know if I'll do the pink dress again. I might. That's a maybe. I want to. Um, I gave my old one to a friend because it no longer fits. So um, I will have to get a new one if I want to do that version, but we will see. I've wanted to do the uniform for a long time, so I'm finally going to do that version. Um, I'm going to make the skirt and the tie and then um, find a top that looks like that, like the sleeveless white shirt. So, yeah, um, and I'm excited to do that. I'm hoping to do that for Fanime on Day Zero, so, and I might try to host a Kingdom Hearts Day Zero gathering, but we will see. I think that would be fun to do. Um, I've heard there was a Kingdom Hearts Day Zero gathering before a few years back, so I might, you know, try and do something like that for Day Zero. So, yeah. Um, I know last year I tried to do a Ghibli meetup on Day Zero, but that didn't quite work. Hopefully, if I post early enough for a Kingdom Hearts gathering on Day Zero, I'll get interest in it. So, a lot of people still cosplay Kingdom Hearts, so. And the third one's supposed to come out this year. Keyword, supposed to, because... You know how they are with pushing the date further and further back. I swear we're going <clears> to... <throat> I swear we're going to be 100 by the time it comes out. So, let's hope they finally keep their promise and release it this year. And hopefully we see a lot of Kingdom Hearts cosplayers at anime. So, yeah. I will sign off now. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get back into Kingdom Hearts, though. I know I have friends who are still into it and stuff, so. And I met some, you know, good friends through Kingdom Hearts, so. You know, from Fanime 2010, when I first did Kyrie. No, I did Kyrie at Cherry Blossom 2010. Then I wore her to Fanime. But yeah, I made some good friends in Kingdom Hearts, so. I will always cherish it. Okay, I will go now. So, I will see you guys later. Yes, I'm recording this from my um, phone. Like I said, I switched cameras. I like this better, actually. So, okay, I will go now. So, bye.